Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm Chris Fleming, Product Training Manager here at Elsevier. Today we launched a new interface and I'd like to show you the new features. Those new features are Ask Reaccess, Reaccess Tree, Molecular Formula Builder, Alloy Query Form, Customizable Query Themes. Here's a brief overview before we go into the details. We made it easier to do a topic search by prominently displaying the search box on the top of the screen. This feature is called Ask Reaccess. And now you can browse the Reaccess tree to find topics when searching the chemical literature. There is new functionality for non-organic chemists. These are the query builders for molecular formula searching and alloy searching. And the ribbon bar is now customizable so you can hide query themes you don't use very often. This is the new start page where you'll find about nine different ways to start a search. Clicking any of these buttons will bring up a different search form. And then you can just click Start Over to return to the Start page. So we'll look at Ask Reaccess first. A simplified way to look at Ask Reaccess is to compare it to a Google search. I can type boiling point of benzene into my browser and instantly see the boiling point of benzene without even opening up Wikipedia. Now you can do the same with Ask Reaccess. So here you see the boiling point at the top of the list of properties for benzene. Ask Reaccess is designed to interpret the context of your search as either substances, reactions, or citations, and then perform the appropriate task. Another example could be NMR of cisplatin, or even something like enthalpy of combustion of caffeine. And here's the data that you asked for. Now how about reactions? Ask Reaccess recognizes terms like synthesis of or preparation of, so I can easily obtain a list of preparations for caffeine. And you don't have to use a name, you can also use a cast number. This happens to be the cast number for a substance called kendamycin. And now when I run the search, I can see a list of reactions for kendamycin. Let's try isolation of coumarin. This time you have a choice. Notice the color coding. This is showing that coumarin is recognized as a substance and it shows that you may choose to retrieve a list of substances or a list of citations. Clicking Show Query gives you more information. The formulated query here is isolation and coumarin, searching in titles, abstracts, and keywords. So in other words, this would be the same as using the literature search form and searching the Citation Basic Index field. The next one is identical and mainly functions as a placeholder at the moment. The third option is Substances. Choosing this one will do a substance search, as if you had drawn the structure and clicked Search. How about Global Warming? Again, you have three choices, and again, two of them happen to be identical. Notice the color coding. Global is coded as a person. And if I click out of here, you can see why. It comes up as the name of an entity, possibly as a patent assignee. But you can still choose to search in titles, abstracts, and keywords, or as an author name. You can also be very specific, like effect of climate change on livestock in Europe.
Ask Reaxis is still in beta. Notice we still have the beta label. So it's not perfect yet. You may find unusual or unexpected answers. And if you do, please let us know. This will help us to improve this feature. You can contact customer support or click the help button. We have a new help system and you can just click here to send your comments. The Reaxis tree is next. The Reaxis tree contains a hierarchy of indexed terms and the purpose of it is to give you an easy way to search the chemical literature without having to think about how to formulate the query or which operators to use. You can open the folders to find topics like named reactions or separation methods or you can search the folders with a term. I'll search for photocyclization. It appears in the tree, and now I can just click Search Literature. Another example is Michael Edition. You can see all the variations of Michael Edition, and then just uncheck the ones you don't want before searching. The Reaxis tree gives you a very focused search because you're searching index terms. A citation basic index search will often be more comprehensive because it is a text keyword search. But for a quick focused search, use the Reaxis tree. The next two features can be found on the substances search form. Molecular formula searching and alloy searching. Here's the molecular formula query builder where you can type in a formula. I'm looking for hydrocarbons with alkali metals. I'll select C and type in 6 and then select H and select a range of 2 to 11. The button for alkali metals is color-coded to the periodic table. When I click to add it to the formula, it means that I'm looking for any of those alkali metals, not all of them. Abbreviations are also available. I want triphenylphosphine and one other element. So I'll select the P and then the PH abbreviation and then click the box for one more element. Alloy searching is similar. Search for alloys, glasses, and ceramics, anything that is formulated using atoms, weight, or volume percentages. I can ask for copper, 90%, tin, 1 to 10%, and allow additional components. The last feature is customizable query themes. You can change your display from this to this. You must be logged in, then click Modify Application Settings, Query Forms, and Check or Uncheck Boxes. That covers the new features. And just a word to users with both Reaxis and Reaxis Medicinal Chemistry. A new user interface for Reaxis Medicinal Chemistry is due out on May 11th, so customers with a license to both databases will have a combined user interface that will look like this.